On a farm in rural Pennsylvania, Dan Dockenbaugh steals any minute he can to work on the motorcycle he'll be racing for a land speed record. My bike is a 1951 BSA Star Twin. To call it a BSA is just a homage to the name. Everything is pretty much hand-built and custom by me. 2014 will be his third year at the storied Bonneville Speed Week. Inspiration decorates the walls of his workspace. Sacrifice is stained on his hands. Passion is etched in his skin. Graduating from pit crew to pilot, this August, Dan will introduce his barn-built BSA to the salt flats of Utah. Speed week is August 9th. Well, right now, as we sit, it's three months away. That's not a whole lot of time. I'm definitely feeling the pressure. When you're building for Bonneville, the schedule exists in two parts, the starting line and every second leading up to it. Built but untested, the greasy gringo will travel to Wilmington, Ohio for its first true shakedown run. This will be the only time, prior to the Bonneville starting line, to see the bike's full potential. You know, I'm pretty nervous. You hope the bike starts because it's in such high state of tune, it may not. The Ohio Mile, a proving ground for land speed racers and their machines, is a can't-miss event on the road to Bonneville. As the starting line approaches, the focus fixates on a moment in time. A man, his sacrifices, his machine. This is the measure of a land speed racer. We've been taught to cherish the journey over the destination, but in some cases, we can see nothing but the goal ahead and we want to get there as fast as we can. The Greasy Gringo, nice, 1951, Back in the quiet Pennsylvania countryside, the call of the Bonneville salt flats grows stronger there is a record to be broken. The date has been circled. The journey continues. This is a line in the salt.